In our larger catechism reading this morning, we're going to look at question number 33, which reads as follows. Was the covenant of grace always administered after one and the same manner? The answer of the uh, catechism is the covenant of grace was not always administered after the same manner, but the administrations of it under the Old Testament were different from those under the new. You may be aware of the fact that there is a difference between covenant theology and dispensational theology. Covenant theology stresses the unity of God's covenant arrangements with His people. We are saved in one way, and that is through faith in Jesus Christ, whether that is under the Old Covenant, under Abraham, Moses, David, or in the New Covenant, under Paul or any of the apostles or us today. We are saved through faith in Jesus Christ. Covenant theology stresses that unity. We may not always appreciate the fact that covenant theology also stresses progress in the development of God's relationship with His people. There is unity that brings the uh, history together in Christ, but there is also progress and development over time. The development is much like that of a seed which goes through a maturation process, rises up out of the ground, becomes a shoot, and then a stem, and then uh, a tree arises until it comes to a point of full flower and perhaps even fruit as well. And so it is with God's covenant arrangement with His people. There are stages in the development from Adam through Abraham, Moses, and David, and so forth, until it finally comes to its fullest expression in Jesus Christ, the new covenant. We look on the old covenant arrangements as uh, anticipatory of the new. They are shadows and types which prefigure the greater fullness that is yet to come in the New Covenant. When Jesus arrives and inaugurates the New Covenant, which we'll talk more about later, all of those Old Testament types and shadows were fulfilled, and the reality arrives. The types of sacrifices, those offerings of the lambs, meet their fulfillment in Jesus Christ, the one sacrifice for sin. And so, the covenant of grace was not always administered after the same manner. There were stages in its development. And one stage leads to the next, and there's an expansion as you go along the way. More is added to it until it finally comes to the new covenant uh, that we have in Jesus Christ. Uh, through it all, however, covenant theology again emphasizes the unity of these covenants in the grace of God through Jesus Christ. We do not make a sharp division within those developments from one dispensation to the next, as though God was making a different arrangement with people after some sort of a failure of a test over time. We see it as a progressive development, a natural organic development from the early seed form in the Garden of Eden to its full fruition in Jesus Christ. And so, the covenant of grace is always administered uh, in, with unity in a variety of forms over time. 